folks, good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. I apologise that it's been so long since I put out a video. Uh, on the good news, the bar is officially open. Nice sunny day here in the Midlands and uh, we've got some koi pond stuff to talk about. Uh, problems I've had, lots of problems. Um, but yeah, we'll go into the, into the garden now, have a look at the pond, uh, have a look at what I've been up to and uh, we'll go through what's been happening and why it's been so long since I put out a video. Cheers. Oh. There's the pond folks, the blade has been on there for a few weeks, fish are all happy, everything is looking okay, sort of okay. Uh, I'm going to sit down now, talk to you about what's been happening and the problems I've had. And the stresses of owning the koi pond, and we'll talk about that. Let's sit down. Right then, where do I start? The last video I put out, um, I had three new fish from Quenny Koi, and uh, probably a little bit, a little bit too soon to be adding fish to the pond, uh, which I've now found out. And like I said before, folks, I'm, I'm new to this. This is, you know, and I'm as, as excited as anybody else to get new fish and get everything done properly, but. I'm learning the hard way and that you've got to take your time with the pond, make sure it's mature before you start adding fish and uh, otherwise you're going to have more and more problems. So put in the new fish, uh, everything seemed fine for a week or so and then I started noticing all the fish flashing again uh, and I thought I'd got rid of parasites with the PP treatment and I think we started off with PP twice uh, and then we used the, the Fluke M, then it was the Cloverleaf uh, Parasite Plus, we used everything and I'd still got fish flashing, jumping everywhere. Uh, the last scrape that I did, there was thousands and thousands of trick. Literally, a, a tiny little scrape. No matter where I scraped, I scraped the fish in three different places and there was thousands of trick. Um, they were active, they were all over the place and that's why I got fish jumping out the pond and all sorts. So, I'm certainly not going to blame um, Quenny Koi for, you know, introducing trick to the pond. It, you know, it's one of those things that can happen when you add new fish to the pond, it can stress the fish out and can have a breakout of parasites so so more my own fault that I haven't really got a quarantine set up or anything like that um, and yeah, it's just one of those things so uh, I was getting desperate I was getting fed up with the pond uh, and I'll be honest with you I wanted to knock the whole thing down because I was sick to death of problems I thought when am I ever going to get to a place where I can sit and enjoy these fish uh, and I'm sure I'm not the only person to have gone through this you know it's one of those things with koi keeping you learn the hard way sometimes so I really wanted to knock the thing down because um, I was thinking it's taking up so much of my time, it's costing money uh, and I'm just throwing money at it and I'm still getting parasites and I couldn't understand why. So uh, last thing I bought was the Alparex anti-parasite um, and I put that in and within an hour the fish were completely different. Within an hour, literally stop flashing, calm, just completely, completely different. Um, scraped the fish the next day, there was no parasites. I couldn't believe it. I literally couldn't believe it. Um, and I thought all my problems are solved. Uh, however, that knocked the filters back a lot. Um, I suppose a mixture of all the treatments have knocked the filters back. And uh, I was struggling with the nitrides, couldn't really put any feed in, even little 10 grams in my hand was putting the nitrides over the edge. So then I went off to France, um, the wife was looking at, looking after the pond for me and just feeding very minimal um, and when I came back from France everything looked a lot better I think without me messing all the time and stressing over the pond and doing different stuff um, they seem to be a lot better with me away so I think sometimes I'm probably stressing too much or doing too much and changing things around and it's upsetting the balance of the pond so anyway uh, water seemed to parameters seem to be better after coming back from France and of course I started feeding the night, uh, and then the night tried to up again. So we're kind of onto a losing battle every time I put a bit of extra food in. And we're only talking about a few grams extra a day, the nitrites would go over again. Um, then I noticed on one of the new fish, the Kikasui, uh, right on the uh, on the tail end, on the side, uh, one of the scales started to lift and you could see a redness underneath it. 
uh, over a few days that was getting worse and worse. Had to get her out, sedate it, remove that scale, uh, clean out the wound and, uh, and treat it. Um, thankfully that's all healed up now. I've been back from France probably uh, three or four weeks now and that's all healed up. Um, another couple of problems with with the um, with the Tancho. That one's got a bit of a raised scale which I tried to treat. I think it's going to be um, I think it's healing up. Um, but the other Sankey that I've got uh, had some raised scales, I took it out, sedated it, treated it, uh, got the tamadine on there, gave it a good clean, uh, but it seems to have made it worse, it's inflamed and it's come up a lot more, more raised scales, so I'm going to have to get her out and do it again. Uh, the parameters are still the same, I'm feeding literally 10 grams once a day, and the night tries to go and over the edge, and I don't know why, only just, it's only just turning from blue to purple, uh, so, but if I do an extra feed a day, it goes over. So there's something going on with the filters and I can't quite work out what it is. Um, but the fish are starving, they're all healthy. You know, they're, they're active. The pond's at, what, 16, 16 and a half degrees at the moment. And uh, other than those couple of little marks, they all look happy and healthy. And when I put the food in, they're literally like gannets jumping over each other, trying to get to the food. And, um, they all seem to be doing well for now. So, not as stressful time as it was, uh, but I'm still not on top of it yet. So, anyway, well, I'm quick looking to fill the house uh, because not a lot's changed in there really. But um, go watch around, sitting there, cats keep shitting all over the floor. So, nothing's changed in the filter house. Um, it's all still, it's all maturing nicely. Um, I took this top layer off today. Have a look to make sure there wasn't a build up of muck or anything so I don't want any bacteria and it's completely clear. I've only got that much um, alpha grog in there. I don't think really it's doing the job. I might have to put in some ceramic media, some backyard media or something and see if that makes a difference to the nitrites. Um, but nothing's changed in here really, everything's the same. Took down the pictures, got rid of all the product here and that's because I've got a new room. Go and have a look at that now. Folks, if you can help out with the nitrites and what could be going wrong, then please let me know. I mean, I've got 100 litres of media in the moving bed. I've got the easy pod and I've got the shower, which has only got half a grog in it. That could be the reason, I don't know. But if you can help out with why I'm struggling with the nitrites, then let me know. I mean, the ammonia is absolutely fine. KH is sitting at uh, 7, sometimes 8. It fluctuates between 7 and 8. Um, pH is seven and a half pretty much all the time. Uh, so I don't have any other problems with the water parameters, it's just the nitrites. And I can't figure out why, what, what's taken so long for that bacteria to build up. Um, just put some comments in the section below and see if you can help out in some way. Um, I've been so busy, that's why I haven't done it. I've been to France, obviously put a video out of that on my um, business carp channel. If you're interested in carp fishing, have a look at that. Uh, while I was in France, I dropped my hard drive. The hard drive has got literally everything on it my whole life. All the koi videos, footage, all the uh, all my carp fishing videos, literally everything on there. And uh, it's currently with the data recovery people, and it's costing about 750 quid, and they still don't even know if they can get the footage back. So, it's had a bit of a shit time the last couple of months, but hey ho, we smile and we crack on. Uh, go and see what, show you what I've been doing in my new room, which I've managed to clear out little vlogging room some light on there we go folks this is the koi carp fishing vlog room that's where I do some of my editing obviously got the beer fridge down there that's essential and uh, some of the fish that I bought some of the fish that I didn't buy some products up there and uh, yeah my recent trip to France with the lads fantastic week away and if you haven't seen Top Gun go and see it because it's absolutely mint and if you haven't seen it go and see it in 4DX at the IMAX because in 4DX it is absolutely out of this world um, it's a bit of a storeroom at the moment just storing some camping stuff but uh, the plan for this guys is to get um, 
a quarantine tank in here. I've got all this space at the back on the, underneath that shelf uh, and I want to fit in a quarantine tank. Not a grow on or anything like that, just literally a hospital tank because I'm having to treat the whole pond when I've got a problem with the fish uh, and ideally I want to be able to just stick it in here, uh, keep an eye on it, keep it heated etc. Um, the only issue I've got is the, the tank has to be as big as possible but got to fit through the door here. Um, so yeah, I don't know what that is, about 600 mil or something like that, so it needs to be that deep. Um, don't know where to get one from, don't really want to spend much money to be honest with you because as I said I've got Florida coming up uh, and lots of other stuff and the pond's sort of getting to me now in terms of what it's costing, so don't really want to spend too much on a quarantine tank, but just anything at all that I can just fit in here on a, on a bit of a stand um, where I can use just to treat some of the fish. But. So yeah, I've been busy doing a few bits and bobs, making everything a bit tidier. Uh, and this is a good place to sit and do some of my uh, my filming, and blogging, um, especially for my carp fishing channel. It's not very hard doing these vlogs for the koi because I literally do everything off my mobile phone, um, and it's pretty much raw as you see it, as I film it, you see it. But with the carp fishing, there's a lot of editing that goes on, and um, you know the last video I put out was an hour and 25 minutes long, just for a four night trip, which was down at Linear in Oxford. Um, so yeah, have a look at that video if you're interested in carp fishing. Uh, there's about seven fish caught, two, two at thirty-five pound, so a decent trip. So yeah, folks, uh, that is it. I'm gonna go back outside if it's warm. Um, talk to me, tell me about your experiences of keeping koi. Have you got to that point where you're fed up with it and don't know what to do? And, and I really got to that stage where. I wanted to get rid of the lot, um, and I didn't want to do any vlogs, didn't want to do any videos, because it was just bad news all the time, uh, and I'm, I'm quite an enthusiastic person, and I was really enthusiastic to get it up, get all the filters made, make a few things myself, and, and you know, just when you when you come into problems after problem after problem, it just really gets you down, and, but I think with the weather, with it heating up, that's helped, and we're sort of getting somewhere now, um, like I said, the nitrites are still a struggle, but we're getting there slowly. Um, I'm learning not to chuck in some feed, especially when someone comes around, I go, oh, look, look, feed the fish, and, and I chuck in a load of feed. Uh, I'm learning not to do that now, just keep an eye on the nitrites, uh, and they'll survive without, you know, too much feed. Uh, but help me out, tell me what I can do to sort these nitrites out. I don't really want to spend any money on filters or anything like that. Um, I might have to, but... Um, is there something I'm doing wrong? Is my filters not doing the job? You know, um, I can't figure it out really. Or is it just time? Or just the wait? It's, it's still a fairly new pond. I'm still probably going through the new pond syndrome, especially with all the water changes I've done and all the, all the um, medication that's gone in there. Um, so yeah, folks, just like I said, it's not much of a video, but just to sort of update you and let you know where we are. Uh, that kahaku is absolutely beautiful. Um, the fish are definitely growing, they've put on a lot of size just in the last couple of months. Um, little Hope Suri, or the, sorry, the Shira Tsuri, Tsuri, that was only a very small fish and that's packing on the weight. Um, the Issa Shara, that is putting on weight, not as much as I'd like, also not heated, but. It's, um, yeah, they're all simply putting on size. And they all seem fairly happy for now. Fed them once today, and that's all they're getting. You know, and what I do then tomorrow is I test the nitrite again. If we're still turning to purple, just one feed. How do I get past that stage? Got to keep feeding to keep the bacteria growing. Can't stop feeding. But how do I get to the point where I can put an extra feed in? Three feeds. Because that's what I'd like to do. Especially with how hungry these guys are, it's just, I feel like I'm being on, you know, I feel like I'm being cruel to them by not feeding them, but. So, that's it folks really. Um, I'm going to try and get the uh, sanky out today and treat. Um, clean up them scales, get some tamadine on there um, and see if we can get that better. It's nice to be able to sit and enjoy it now in the, in the decent weather. Must be able to sit back and enjoy it, isn't it? 
without problems, or many problems. Um, uh, folks, thanks for watching again. Apologies, it's been so long. It's been a stressful time. And um, if you are going to go over to my carp fishing channel, this is carp channel. As I said, the French trip was amazing. Caught lots of fish out there. Uh, but all the footage is on my hard drive. Devastated about it, but what can I do? I'm just going to have to wait and see if we can get it back. Uh, if we do, then there'll be a video out for the France trip. Um, and that, yeah, that'll be a decent watch. Uh, failing that, the trip I've just been on, I've just been away four nights to linear. Have a look at that. Some decent fish on there. But other than that, folks, hope you're all keeping well. I'm going to keep going with the pond. I'm going to keep positive. I'm going to get there somehow. Um, the dog and the cat, they're chilling. Got the life in there. But well pleased with the new the new koi uh, blog room, uh, carp fishing blog room, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I might think of a name for it. If you want to put a name on it, let me know. Put it in the comments section, what we can call that room. Um, and yeah, if you can think of anywhere to get a decent size um, quarantine tank, somewhere on the cheap, uh, I'll be grateful. Because uh, I'm going to have to start putting a little filter on it and all that, and it's just more and more cost. Um, I don't really have the funds this, this year. With everything else I've got going on, I don't really want to be throwing more money at it because um, it's just a just a money pit, isn't it? Um, so yeah, folks, thanks for watching. If you haven't already and you like this kind of content, click on subscribe, smash that like button and the notification bell, and that'll notify you when I do put out any videos. And hopefully there'll be a few more, and I'll keep you updated with what's going on. Um, I'm not going to film and getting the fish out and uh, and treating it because it's I'm not brilliant at it myself, so hold the camera and try and treat it at the same time is going to be difficult but uh, I'll keep you updated on how the Sankey is and if those scales go down because I don't want any other infections or anything like that so again folks thanks for watching I really appreciate it apologies it's been so long but um, take care and I'll see you in the next one